Okay, so good afternoon, everybody. So let's start. Um, let me, before I start, uh, before I start today's lecture, let me quickly summarize what, what, what I have done so far. So, as you know, the big purpose of this course is to learn how can we do logic circuit or digital circuits, whatever the name you use, digital circuits, okay? So, as you know, in, as I explained to before, in digital circuits, you have some inputs, variables, sometimes you call it X, Y, Z, you can use any letters, it doesn't matter, or you can use A, B, C, any letters, so these are variable inputs, okay? For example, here, in this circuit, we have three inputs, X and Y and Z. Every, every variable, as I told you before, can only take one of two values, either zero or one, okay? And then we have output here. This output, if we call it, uh, you, can, you can sometimes we call it a name, like what, uh, sometimes, for example, any name, uh, F or whatever. But actually, the output here, okay, um, is actually function, function of X and Y and Z. So it's function of, of, uh, of the input, okay? And then what we are going to do here, how, how, uh, what operation we are going to do, okay, for uh, x and y and z to create this function, this, this can determine what this circuit is doing, okay? So now, that's what you should understand. Now I'm not focusing on uh, what this circuit is doing. I just want any, any relations, random relations, okay? But uh, because it, that's what I'm going to do in the future, okay? I want to do, do addition. I want to do, that's what you should understand. Now, now these functions, the functions I'm getting, I'm using right now, they almost uh, don't do anything useful, just for learning how uh, how can you do algebra and evaluation and, and so on. But in the future, you should understand this function is gonna do something very useful, like addition, multiplication, um, decoder, encoder, the, the other things I'm gonna explain in this course, okay? Also, you should understand this function is actually also, it is binary, either zero or one. Everything here is binary, is of zero one. One more thing, very important thing, as I told you, uh, to create this function, the relations, or uh, sorry, the operations we are using are one of three operations, either not, okay, for example, x prime, y prime, and so on, uh, or it's the relation n, oh, sorry, the operation n, like x, y, okay, or something, if you can put dot, sometimes you don't put dot, that's okay. And also we have and x or y. Okay, uh, I I made it very clear last time, uh, so don't be confused. Uh, what I'm teaching, what what I started to teach last time, last time we call it Boolean algebra. Okay, uh, which somehow different from the normal algebra you learned it before. There are some similarities, there are some differences. Okay, so so. Um, so don't be confused. This is not this is not multiplication. We don't have multiplication. We don't have addition. This is n, and I already explained how how n works. Okay. So this operation, something we call them gates, because when you implement the function, you are going to use gates. So this is the gate for for the not. This is the gate for n. Okay. And this is the gate for or. Okay. And this case, as I told you, as as as, uh, as you will do in this uh, this week uh, lab, and also next week lab, every gate here has electronic circuit to implement it. Okay, so that's why last time I started to explain is uh, Boolean algebra. Uh, so, for example, here I'm going to go quickly through it. If you have a variable a or x, any any name, okay, any variable. Uh, or zero, so the result is a. Okay, a or one. Uh, uh, sorry, this is uh, yeah. A, a or one is one. Okay, so I already explain. Uh, uh, so this is like um, uh, 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 some rules, theorem, uh, uh, laws, uh, laws. You just use them. Okay, so you so just you need to learn them, use them. So. And at the very end here, as I told you, I put, I summarize all of them here. And in exams and quizzes, I will give you this slide. So you don't need to worry about memorizing this uh, theorem. All what you need to worry about, how can you use them? 
And uh, until now, I think it's been how I didn't tell you how we use it, okay? But there are some rules uh, to do algebra manipulation, okay? Um, one, one, uh, there's another thing here which is very, very important, guys. You need to listen to me. So what I'm saying, what I'm saying here, so look at this rule as just an, an example. Here we have only one variable e, okay? In in reality, in reality, this can be can be can be an expression by itself. For example, x or y, okay, prime, for example, okay, plus zero. So we have something here plus zero. So I can still apply the same rule. Don't be confused. If you are confused, listen. I can call this one here, I can call it A. Okay? How can you call it A? Simply because A should be 0 or 1. X or Y prime also should be 0 or 1. So they are almost uh, can have that, uh, one value anyway. So I'm get, I can call this one A and then I can apply, apply this rule. Same thing for every rule I'm explaining here. You understand what I'm saying? So here I use, uh, for example, you have something like that A and A prime. So this one can be x y and x y prime. It's the same thing. This one is similar to this one. Okay. Any questions about this point? Very important. Anyway, so I explained here all of these ones last time. A prime prime is equal to a, and I told you this is very important thing as I told you. Very easy way. The the, the easy way to prove that this one is true. It's just using truth table. That's it. So it's a truth table. I'm gonna have one column for this one, and, and then I'm gonna have one column for this one. So then I'm gonna compare these two columns together. If they are identical, that means they are equal. Okay. And th this is uh, we're gonna use it in next section. So here in next section, just to uh, uh, to clarify this point, equivalence. So if you have, if I have two functions, for example, I have this function here and I have this function here. I want to check if these two functions or these two expressions are equal or not. I, I want to check if they are equal or not. Is that okay? Uh, so to do that, there are two ways. To, the first way to do it is by using truth table. So what I, what I did here is that truth table is I want to check if this one equal to this one or not. Very simple. So here, I, I, I put here the variable ABC. This, this is the three variables I have. I put all possible cases here. And then I calculate, I calculate this one here. Then I calculate this one here. And then after I calculate it, I'm going to check, I'm going to check this, this two, two columns. If they are identical, that means these two expectations are equivalent. They are the same. They are doing the same thing. You understand what I'm saying? So if this, so this expression is no multiplication. This one is exactly same thing. They are identical. You got what I'm saying? So this is the meaning of equivalent. So you can see here, guys, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero. So for for every input, the the two expression are giving you the same output. Okay? So they are equivalent. You understand what I'm saying? Anyway. If you find only one difference, you don't need to continue it, it checking the other inputs. For example, this one is zero. And then when I look here, I find this one. Don't, don't even look at the other one. It's enough to find only one, one, one row that's not, equal, that's not equal. In this case, I'm going to say, no, this, these two expressions are not equal. You understand what I'm saying? OK. So this is one way to do it. And, and I use this approach to prove to prove, to prove uh, the, the theorem we have here, okay? So here, I, I used it all the time here. So for example, I want to prove this theorem is true. So I create a truth table this way. Also, I want to prove this one true. I create a truth table this way. And then I, when I looked at this one, I found it is one all the time. So it is one, okay? Same thing for everything else. So here, for example, I want to I wanna prove this one is equal, equal to this one, okay? Using associative uh, law. So again, what I did here, I put all possible cases, and then I put, I calculate these two columns just to help me to calculate these ones. But, uh, so I don't care about them or they are, they, uh, I, 
They are not important for me. I just get, I did them just to help me to calculate this one. And then I'm going to compare this one to this one. So I, I, I this column to this column. I found that they are identical. So that means by this way, I was able to prove the law. This this law. You understand what I'm saying? So this is very easy way to uh, to prove all, all all the rules we have here. Okay. Once we have this these rules here. So yeah. So here these are all 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 uh, all the theorem, all the rules we have. Once you have them, you don't need to prove them again. You can just use them. You understand what I'm saying? So, so these ones, you can just use them. We have, uh, we have proved this. Thing. You can just use it. You understand what I'm saying? And that's it. this is the second way. For example, if I want to prove this one is equal to this one, I can do one approach. One approach is just, just to go to the truth table, make sure uh, this column is, is identical to this column. This one approach. There's another approach. The other approach is you can take one of them and you can do algebra manipulation using the, these rules. You can use these rules to do algebra manipulation, and then you can get this one. And this is just an example. I'm going to give you more details. Okay. So here I start with this one, and then I, I use the rules to do algebra manipulation. Once I did it, so I, I got this one. So that means this one is equal to this one. Okay, let me tell you the conclusion now. The conclusion is if I give you two expressions, okay, uh, and then if you want to prove these two expressions, or if you want to check if these two expressions, expressions are equal or not, you I can do it using two statements. This is one approach. There is another approach, uh, is just using algebra manipulation. That means I, I take this one and then I do. I, I apply I, I apply the rules we have here, okay? So I can just use these rules. You don't need to prove them, okay? Just use them because I have already proved them here, okay? So when, and then you try, you're, you try to manipulate this one to get this one, or you try to manipulate this, this expression to get this expression by using algebra manipulation. That's why, this is, that's why, uh, this is one way or uh, one of the ways to use as uh, the rules I'm explaining uh, now. Okay, so I didn't finish them yet. I explained some of them last time, so I, I was here, but I just I just wanna uh, I just uh, want you to know. Okay, after we finish after we finish all these rules, how how I'm gonna use it? Okay, so one way one way to use it uh, to use them is by algebra manipulation to prove that one exhibition equal to the other one. Okay, well. Also, I can use them to do something we call it simplification. So usually algebra, algebra, algebra manipulation, that's why here I'm teaching uh, uh, the, the rules. So when we, we're going to do algebra manipulation either to prove equivalence and also for simplification as I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to teach. But let, let's finish this one first. Uh, let's finish, finish uh, the rules. So, so here, I just want to remind you something very important about the distribution, okay? So here, when, when I do distribution here, guys, I see here A and B or C, okay? So you know, this is, this is easy because this is similar to the normal algebra. If you have something like that, you can simply multiply here and multiply here. So we almost have, have the, same, the same rule, okay? So this is, should be easy, okay? And because this one is similar to what, 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 we, what you did before in normal algebra. But I want to tell you something also very important. So, if you have this one here, you can go this way and you say this one is equivalent to this one. The answer is yes. Can I do the opposite? For sure you can do. So, if you have this one here, you can also do the opposite. Okay? So, that means if I have A, B, or A, C. So, I see here A is common. A is, is common here. So, I can take A as a common factor. So, B plus C. Okay? So, just I want to bring this one to your attention. So, here, yes, I'm saying if you have this one, I can make distribution to this one, but also I can do the opposite. So I want to bring this one to your attention. Okay. One more thing, also I want to bring to your attention again. This A, B, C, they don't need to be variables. It can be complete expression. You got what I'm saying? For example, I give you one example to understand what I'm saying. For example, you have X, Y, Z, or for example, W, X, Y. Okay. So if, if you can see here, we have a common factor here, which is X, Y here and X, Y here. So I can take this one, so I can consider this one like A, A here. So I can take it common. So it's gonna be X, Y, Z, or W. Is that clear, guys? Yeah. 
Again, if you are confused, you can just put this one A, and this one is A, and then now you, this one will be identical to this one, but you need to know this. Any questions? Also, uh, the one I still last time, and even sometimes I myself, I forget it, because, because it's, we don't have it in, uh, in the normal algebra, okay? So here, when I did the distribution, I did here, the relation is end. That's why when I did the distribution, this one should be end, and this one is end as well. So I put here end, and I put here end, okay? So the one we have here that we don't have in the normal algebra, we have in the Boolean algebra, is I can do the same thing if, if, if the operation here is or, I can do the same thing. You can understand? So if I have this one here, so it's gonna be A or B, okay? A or C, and here I'm gonna keep the end here. So if you see what I did here, it's similar, it's similar, it's the same thing as this one, okay? But I, what I did here, I just kept this one, if it's this one, or I'm gonna keep it, okay? And then because this one is end here, so, so I'm gonna uh, end and end. So that's exactly what I did. So here we have end, so I'm gonna keep it, as you see, I kept it. And then when I did the distribution, so here A or, here A or here, okay? Please uh, uh, focus on this one because uh, Usually, students complete this one. Okay. And again, I can do the opposite. So, if I have this one here, if I see, I have A, A, A over here and A over here. Okay. So, I can take it, I can take it easy. I can take it as soon. Okay, guys. Any questions? Okay. Also, last time also I said something very important. We, uh, we call it duality. So what what do you mean by 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 duality? Okay, uh, I'm just repeating what I said last time. Du duality is something very interesting. If you have any expression, any expression, and this expression is true, I can I can I can create another expression out of this one, and it is also true. So if, if I have any expression and it's true, okay. So for example, I have something like that, and this one is true. So I can create another one, it's also true. You got what I'm saying? Using, I can calculate the dual of this one, dual. So when you calculate the dual, I told you any all, you have to make it end. Any end, you have to make it all. Any zero, you have to make it one. Any one, you have to make it zero. Any inverter, is the same inverter. We don't change inverters. You understand what I'm saying? We don't change inverter. Inverters will be the same. That's why if I analyze this rule here, I will get this one. So this is the dual. By the way, if you have this one and you apply these rules, so you will get this one. Okay, so here again, you have x or y. So all what I do here, that's what I do here. Every or I'm gonna make it n. Every or I'm gonna make it n. Okay. If you have inverter, as I told you, in inversion, so inversion will do it's, it's gonna be the same. We don't change inver in inversion. Any zero becomes one, any one becomes zero. In, in duality, okay? Uh, this one is very interesting, guys, because you can only know half, half of the theorem or half of the rules, because you can, you can get the other half using the duality. And I think, let me see if I put it here in the summary. Yeah, I think, I think the one here is uh, the one for, yeah, so here, A, A and B. So A is one expression and B is the dual of it. So here, these are one expression, these are the dual of this exhibition. Okay. Any questions? Okay. So let's move to the next one here. So again, I the last time I proved, I proved this this distribution is okay using truth table as I did here. Uh, same thing here. I proved that this exhibition is true using the truth truth table here. Okay. So I mainly, as I told you, I have EB. I have ABC. However, to calculate this term, I need I need to be this one. I need to be BC, D and C. That's why I I did this column here, D and C. Okay, and I don't need to tell how how you do end. I did I said multiple times. You have zero zeros. You have zero zero. The only way to get one when both of them are ones. You have here zero zero. Okay, you have zero here. This one is zero, and then you have one. Okay, and then the the, the only reason I calculate this column here just because to, to calculate this one here, to calculate this column here, okay, A, A, A or B, C, 
So I, I really can put it to C, so now I can do all with this one. So I can pick A and I can, it's, it's gonna be easy for me to do such a position now. I can just do uh, all between these two columns to get this one, okay? The same thing I did here, in order to calculate this one, I need to get, I need to calculate this column and then I calculate this column and then and that's what I did here. In the first one here, we have A and B here. So I did all, I did all operation and I get this one. Same thing, we have A and C. I did all operation and then I got this one. But once you have these two columns, you can do N between them to calculate this one. Okay. Any questions? Is that okay? Easy, right? Any questions? Yeah, and here for the input here, you have you have to make sure you got all possible cases here. And then explain how to, we always do that. Okay, these are all possible cases. Okay, um, we, we never did our usually we don't do that in normal algebra because every variable has a big range of numbers. We cannot do that. You got understand? But here because we have limited uh, number of combination uh, possible cases. In this case, you have three variables, two to the power of three, which is eight. Okay. Any questions? Okay. So the next, the next term I want to explain, we put it D Morgan. D Morgan. So how this one works, look here. If you have X, X, X or Y, okay, and everything is inverted, everything is inverted, okay. So this one is equal to, I can do inversion for the first term. So you have here one term. I'm gonna put it X, or I have another term, I'm gonna put it Y, everything is inverted, okay? So the model is telling me what, this one is equal to the first term inverted, inverted, the second term inverted, and then if you have here all, make it end. If you have end, make it all, okay? So again, the model is telling me if you have two, two terms, okay? Uh, so invert the first one, and then in, 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 invert actually invert all terms. Now for the relation, if the relation here is, is all make it end, if it is n make it all. That's why we have this one. Okay. So what we have here, here I'm gonna invert this one, invert this one, and because the relation here is n, so I'm gonna make it all this one. That's what we call d mod. Again, if I want to prove, if I want to prove that this d model is correct, very simple way, as you see here, x and y, and then I need to calculate this one first, x, x, or y prime. To do that, I need, I need to, I need to calculate x or y. So I have x here and y. It's very easy to calculate x or y. And then you invert this column to get this one. Okay? As you see here, invert means every zero becomes one, every one becomes zero. Okay? So I, now I calculated the first one. Now I want to do the same thing for this one. Okay, but but I, I have x and y, I don't have x prime. So very easy, I can calculate x prime, I can calculate y prime, okay? And then I can do end operation between them, and then I'm gonna do this one, okay? And then after that, if I compare, if I compare this column to this column, they are identical. That means it's true, it is true, it's a proof. Any questions? Okay, more important, more important you guys, as I told you here, you have variable x, you have variable y. As I said two or three times, this x can be can be expression, can be a formula by itself. Y, it can be can be also a formula. For example, I give you I already have here one example here. So I here I have A or B. Okay, here C prime, C prime G. Okay. So if you are confused, I can put this one x, I can put this one y, and then I can apply this one. That's it. So here. The way I, the, this one should equal the first term inverted. Here, this one is all, all should become end. The second term inverted, so it should become this one. So this one, I just apply the more one time, so this one becomes, uh, this term will become this term. Is that okay? Now I can apply the more again. Now I can apply the more, I can apply the more here and the more here, okay? To apply the work in here, A and B. So invert the first one, invert the second one, as you see here, and it becomes all. Same thing here, okay? Invert the first one, invert the second one, and it becomes all. But be careful here, you have C prime. When I invert the C prime again, so it should be C. Okay? 
I give you another example here. Okay, to apply it. Um, be careful. Uh, usually, from my experience, I teach something, okay? So be, you need to apply. If you have a problem, you need to apply exactly what I do. I, I, I found from my experience, sometimes, sometimes the students apply what I learned for something else for different, for something different, okay? And from here, mistakes can be uh, are made, okay? For example, if I have something like this one, okay? Let's apply, apply the rule for uh, this one here, this rule here, okay? So this is, all this exhibition, okay? It's, it's just one term, call it X, and you have here Y. Is that okay? So now I can apply this one, because I have here one term, and with another term. Regardless, what is the value of this term? One term and another term. Okay, or one exhibition and. So if I am confused, don't be confused. I can put this one x, I can put this one y. So now it becomes identical to this case. Okay, so and then after that, so this one is x and this one is y. So the result is x prime or y prime. Okay, now plug in what is x, plug in what is y. And that's what I did. So I, if you did, if you see here, we have the first term here and a second term. Okay. So the first term here, I'm gonna I'm gonna invert it as you see here. Okay. And becomes or the second term here is gonna be inverted. Okay, as you see here. Now I can apply the work and again here. I have one term or one term. So I can apply the work and again here. Okay. When I apply the work, so you need to invert the first one. Uh, or becomes n inverts the second one. Okay, so here uh, in, uh, inverter or not, and then this one has not to so cancel it. Okay, this one becomes c. This is one one of the very early uh, yeah. This uh, this uh, uh, I separated here. Inversion of the inversions and cancel the inversions. That's exactly what happens. Okay. Anyway, and now uh, here so this is so this one should equivalent to this one. Any questions? Okay. One more thing here I want to teach. Um, also, guys, uh, I told you from my experience, sometimes I teach you something and then you apply it in a different case. So be careful here. Again, I'm very specific. So, this is slide here. What I'm teaching is if you have here one term or one term, okay, I'm going to do it this way. What if you have three terms all, all, all together? Have x or y or z? Can can I just blindly use this one? No, unless unless I tell you it's true. So if you are not sure it's true, don't do it. It's not gonna. It's, it, sometimes it does not generalize. Sometimes sometimes it does. I'm so I'm saying. So sometimes it does. So in, in this case, in this case actually it does. So if you have here. More than one term, all of them all, all of them all, not some or and some end. Okay, so you need to understand what is the case and to try to apply exactly the same the same thing here. Okay, so here you have x, y, and z prime. So what I can do here, yes, I can use that's what I'm telling you for De Morgan. If you have more than one term, all of them all together, I still De Morgan is valid. You can generalize it, it's okay. So here, this one should be the first one inverted, second one inverted, third one inverted, and, and o, this four should be end. Is that okay? So all of them should be all. Same thing if all of them are end. So if you have here x, y, z, everything inverted. So it's the same thing. So it's going to be x prime, y prime, z prime. And then because here we have end, should become o. And that's what I'm explaining here. But in general, that's what I'm saying. In general, generalization may not be true all the time. Okay? That's why I'm trying to be very specific. So here in this case, that's what I'm telling you. You have here multiple terms, all of them all. So I can do this way. If you have here multiple terms, the relation between all of them and 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 inverter, so I can invert everyone and then this end. Uh, relation should become over, so I can do this one. Any questions? Okay, for sure there is a proof for it. So if, if, if you are interested to know the proof, yeah, there is a proof. For example, look here. If I have 
and maybe interesting group. So if I have a or Z prime, okay, guys. So I can simply, I can simply, I can call this one A. And now I have two terms. By this way, I can use the first, I can use this one here. I can use this two here, okay, because I have two terms. So if you have this one this way, so this one should take one A prime or Z prime. Is that right? Yeah, it's right. Now, let's go to a uh, substitute uh, A by, by its value, which is X or Y prime or Z prime. And then for this one, you can apply the order again. You understand this? So now I had three variables. I was able to break it into two value, variables and then apply the order again. So now it becomes, um, sorry, this is end, I'm sorry. Okay, because this is, for the order, this all becomes end. Same thing here, it should be X prime, Y prime, Z prime. Okay, guys, so, any questions? Okay. The first, the first one we have here, we call it absor uh, absorption. Abs uh, so here, we can absorb something. You can tell from the English name. So you can see here, guys, look, uh, this rule, uh, how, how it works. I have something here, I call it X. And then I have the same X, the same, the same thing here. But this one, and, and with something else, I call it Y. You can understand? So again, I have here X, or x again something in you call it y in this case we can absorb y and the result is only x and the proof is very simple i'm going to tell you what is the proof very simple okay the dual the dual for this one can be this one this is the dual x okay and x or y so here you can see i have here an x and here end it with the same x plus y, something else. So in this case, we can absorb y. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, can you how how we can prove it? I'm gonna tell you how we can prove it. Okay. And um, so the very easy way to prove it just using the two, two table as you see here. Using the two statement, I can prove it. Okay, so I can simply, I can make this one, calculate this one here, and then after I calculate this one, I can compare it to x, I find it's the same. Same thing here, I can calculate this one, compare it to x, I find it's the same. Okay? But again, when you do algebra manipulation, you can just use the rules. This is one of the rules, you can just use it. Okay? <clears throat> By the way, this is, I was able to prove it using two statements. Now, I have learned enough, enough rules to apply algebra manipulation. So now I will show you now what, what I have learned so far. I can, instead of using two stable, I can, I can prove it. I can prove this one using algebra manipulation. Okay, how? I'm gonna tell you how. Look at this one. You have x or x1, okay? So here x is common. So we have here x, we have x here. x is common. So I can take, I can take x, this is the opposite of the distribution. So if you have this one here, you can do distribution, right? This is the opposite of the distribution. You take x as a common factor, as you see here, okay? Always, if you are confused, if this is true or false, you can do, because you are familiar with the distribution. You can just do distribution, you will find, I get this one, okay? So as you see here, using algebra manipulation, I can take x as a common factor, and then now it becomes one or y. And already we know one or anything, one or anything is one. So this one becomes one. You know x and one is x. You got it? So now, and that's exactly what you are gonna do in section in the, the next section. In the next section, I'm gonna give you two uh, two or two expressions or two functions. Then I'm gonna ask you to prove that two, two functions are equivalent, they are the same. And the way you can prove it's exactly similar to what I did here. You can use a proof table to do that, or you can use algebra manipulation. Okay. In exams, if I just if I don't if I don't tell you which one you have to use, it's up to you can use whatever whatever you want. Okay. But sometimes I, I will tell you. So for example, uh, use I'm expecting you one of them is not enough. You need to learn the both of them because in exams I can tell you use 
algebra many equation to prove that this one is equal to this one. And you have you have many examples in, in each section. Or I can tell you you have to use a two step because is the truth table is the easy way because it's just a systematic way. It, it, it may take some time, but systematic. This one may, you need to think how can you apply the rules. You got what I'm saying? But anyway, so let's let's also do here because uh, let's uh, prove the second one here. So if, if I want to prove the second one here, guys, go here. And, and the way the way I'm explaining the proof here because it's like a practice. How can we use the rules we have? Okay, so let's let's see here. Number one, I can do this distribution. Yeah, that's what I did. I did distribution here. You know, one of the rules x and x is just x. Okay, and then or here x and y. Okay, and this one we have just to prove here. This one is actually equal to x. Again, guys, these two are dual. So, okay, I told you about the duality. If you have one, you can one expression, you can give the other expression. Any questions? Okay, so two things here, guys. The first thing, please tell me what it means. If I have function this way and you are telling me it's equal to x, what it means? It means why it has it doesn't do anything to be to be the output. So, so the output, the output of the function does not depend on y. So regardless of the value of y, the output will only depend on x. This is the meaning of it. You got what I'm saying? So the output does not depend on what is the value of the input y. Okay, this is the meaning of it. One more thing, I am repeating it, and because <laughs> this may be the part that uh, may be a little bit hard for students, that's why I'm I'm repeating it. And when I give you a function or expression x here, x here, or y uh, may not be only one variable. It can be an expression by itself, okay? For example, I give you one example here. I have a, b, c, or a, b, c, d. And see here? So this one is, I can apply this one here. Because I can, I can call this one x, I can call this one x, I call this one y. Because I'm saying so, this one should take what A, B, C. Is that okay? Um, or because this one is easy to prove, so I can I can take A, B, C as a common common factor. So this one one plus C, uh, one plus D, one plus D is equal to D. Uh, sorry, is one. One and or anything is one. Okay, and in anything and one is just the same thing. Okay, so A, B, C. Any questions? Okay. Well, uh, there, there was something I think in last uh, last year exam, or it's a very easy thing. But sometimes you still get confused. It's such an easy thing. So, for example, look here, guys. If you have here a or a b or a c or a g prime. Okay. If I have something like that. And then I want to simplify it, okay? Or I want to do algebra manipulation to prove that this one should equal to A. All of this is just equal to A, okay? So I can do that. You can you can notice there is a common factor here, A. This, this is the first thing you need. To, uh, if, if, if you want to do algebra manipulation, the first thing you need to look at if, if, if there is anything common, you can take it common, okay? Usually this help you. Okay. So I can I can see a is common here. So I can take a common here, and then this one becomes one or b or c or d prime. If you are not sure if you, you did it correctly, you can do the distribution. You will get the same thing like this one. Okay, because the solution may be easy, but you can check. Okay, and then now now one or anything is just just all of this just one. Okay. So you have big O. You have one input is one, and then you have here B, C, D prime. All of this is just one, okay? If you are confused, you can take it two by two, okay? That's okay. As long as you did for it, that's okay. But but you need to keep in mind, guys, I can just do it in one step. I have four, one input is one, and then I have one million inputs after that. I don't care about the one million inputs. As long as one input is one, the output is one. So I don't care about anything else. This, whole, this is how all is, works, right? 
But if you are still confused and you are still at the beginning, that's okay. We can do this step by step. Look at this one. One or B. Okay? One or B is one. So this one turns what turns uh, to be one. Okay? And then I give this two. One or C is one. Okay, because this is even one, one of the rules, one of the rules we have here. Yeah. One or anything is one. Okay. And this is by logic, by logic. If you know how all work is or uh, so this is related to how all works, okay? So this one becomes one. One, one or this one is one. So the result of all of that is just one. Okay. Any questions? Again, very important when you do algebra manipulation, very important. The first thing you can think about is if you can find a common 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 term, okay, try to get it out and then to try after you get it out, try if you can. Sometimes it doesn't help. I'm not saying all the time it helps, but sometimes it doesn't help. But this is something you need to think about. If I can think that uh, the things that's common, uh, this one is simplified. This one can, can be simplified more or not more. Okay. So uh, sometimes it doesn't, okay, but this is something you need to consider. So we have two more uh, theorem. Uh, no, we have three more theorems. Okay? Uh, and then this is the whole code summary. And then what, what I'm going to do is make a short and uh, make a section. I'm going to give you a lot of examples. How can you do algebra uh, manipulate? Uh, how, can you, how can you apply? How can you apply these rules? Mainly to do two things. Either to check if two functions are equivalent or not, and also to do simplification, okay, using algebra manipulation. Okay? So let's let's um, uh, <clears throat> so the next one we have here we call it uniting, okay, uniting theorem. So in uniting theorem, try to uh, understand this is what okay guys. I have I have a term here something I call it x. Okay, again this can be an expression. Okay, so here I have x. I have also x here and it has to be all. Okay, this is what this rule is telling me. And then I have something here, okay, and have the inversion of this one here. If you have this relation, the output will be similar to this. Again, I have something here, x. X is, it can be a formula, it can be expression. You get what I'm saying? So I have here x, and the same x here. And then I have another variable here, y, and I have this variable inverted here. And the relation is over, okay? So if you have something like that, the result is x. Okay. Why? You can use this one as a rule. You can use it, okay? But I'm gonna prove it. it's very easy to prove. I'm gonna prove it now. Um, let's, let's look at the proof. Very easy proof. The proof is you can see x is common here. We have x and x, x is common. So I can take x as a common factor. So now this one becomes y or y prime. Y or Y prime equal what? If you have all, all Y and Y prime, what should be the result here all the time? By common sense, by intuition. One. Why? Because hundred percent one of them will be one. Hundred percent. If Y is zero, Y prime is going to give you one. If Y is one, okay, that's enough. I I need only one of them to be one. Okay, and this actually again this one of the rules you have here. Okay. So so here what I did very simple. So here I, I, I just I see here I just I, I took x as a common factor and then this one becomes y. X and one is x that's it very simple. Okay. Okay guys. Maybe the I I don't know I don't want to say difficult, but maybe in uh, if you have, if I give you expression. Again, x may not be only one variable. It can be an expression. Okay. For example, a b c d. Okay. Or a b. You see a b repeated here, and c d prime. You see what I'm saying? So still you can you can apply this one here because you can call this one x if you are confused. You can call this one y. Okay. You can call this one x. You can call this one here y prime. By this way, you can just apply this one, okay? And again, you don't need to memorize anything because I'm gonna give you this table, but it's not enough. You need to know how can we use this one, this, this rules here, okay? So in this case, I can just, 
again, if you uh, uh, if you understand it well, you can just take A, B, C common here, A, B, C common, and then C, D, or C, D prime. So for sure, this one should be one. Uh, or you can just apply this one directly, and then the result is A, B, okay? If you are confused and you want to do this slowly, I don't, I don't mind at all. You can do this slowly. You can say, I'm going to call this one X, I'm going to call this one Y, this one is X, this one is Y prime, okay? And this, if I do that, I can apply this one, and the result, this one is equal to X. Okay, and x is actually ev. That, that I'm done. You can slowly, I'm to, totally fine. As long as this correct, I'm totally fine. Any questions? Okay, let's see the dual of this one because the dual may be a little bit confused. This is the dual of this one. Uh, again, the dual, how can you read the dual? As I told you, uh, any and, uh, sorry, any or, make it and. Any and, make it or. In the end, make it all. Inversion, we don't change inversion. It's the same. Okay? So that's why the dual of this one should be is it, is this expedition is actually this expedition. Is that okay? Okay. Uh, by the way, here I used algebra manipulation to prove that these two expeditions are equal. Still, you can use a proof table, but I just leave it to you to do it. Okay? Easy, right? Um, so let's prove this one. How can we prove this one? Okay, very simple, by the way. And look, this is the part maybe most of the students uh, may, may not think about. Okay, look here. Do you have any common factor here? Yes, x plus is a common factor. Okay, x plus. So I can take x plus this way, and then I can say y, 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 uh, and y prime. It's a common factor because because you know this is, we don't we don't have this one in the normal algebra that you can distribute you can distribute the positive we don't have in the normal algebra but it is in the volume algebra sometimes I forget it but you know we should not anyway so again my advice to you you this is the opposite so I, what I did here is the opposite of the reverse of distribution okay. If you are confused because distribution is easy, you can take this one and do distribution to get this one. Okay? So I can I can do distribution here. So this one should be x or y and x or y prime. Okay? So anyway, so again, uh, if you want to prove it, so what I'm gonna do now, okay, y and y prime. What is the result of this? Y and y prime. By common sense, you don't need you don't need even to look at uh, you don't look, you don't need, it's, it's already here, but you don't need to look at it. By such common sense, y and y prime, what, what, n, y prime, what is the result? Zero, for sure. Why? Because in, in case of n, it is enough to get one zero. If one input is zero, I don't care about the other one million inputs. I don't care about them. Okay? And for sure, it is must, one of them should be zero. Okay? If one, if, if, if y is zero, okay, it's enough. If y is one, the so zero will come from here because they are inverted. Anyway. So here, yes, so this part is zero here. X or zero, X or zero, is, it is X, okay? Anyway, so by this way, I was able to prove, uh, to prove it this way. I think I think I did something different here, okay? Uh, yeah, there, there's another way here, maybe, maybe, okay, so here I proved it in a certain way, but I, but maybe long, long, little bit long way. But that's okay. It's just a practice on how can you do algebra manipulation. So again, I'm gonna repeat what I did, and then I'm gonna uh, explain what I did here as well, just to learn the two ways. Okay. The first way, which is here, I have x plus common. So what I did, I said x plus common, and then we have y and y prime. Yes, I can do. This is the reverse or the opposite of distribution. Okay, if you do distribution to this one, you will get this one. Okay, and then this one x or zero, which equal to x. Yeah, this is a very easy way to prove it. Okay, there is another way, which is very long way, which is like very close to the normal algebra. When I do the distribution here, what I did, instead of taking x plus as a common factor, what I did, I just did distribution. And this, this, this is similar to normal algebra. So here I can do distribution 
and also I can do distribution. By this week, I can have four tables that you see here. X times X, not times, I'm sorry, X and X, okay? Or X, Y prime. So this part here just came from the first distribution uh, for X. Now, when I make distribution for Y, so X, Y, Y prime, Y, okay? And then after that, X and X is X, X and X is X, Y and Y prime is zero, okay? You can see this step here. Again, I'm not explaining the proof because in the exams, I'm gonna give you a formula and then I'm gonna ask you to prove it. No, I'm explaining the proof because this is a practice on how can you do algebra manipulation? Because in the exams, what I will do, I will give you uh, one, one, two expressions. I can ask you to prove this. Uh, so these two expressions are equivalent uh, using algebra manipulation. Okay? So that's what if you can consider this one like a problem and I want to solve it. Okay? So anyway, so now you can see here, guys, I see X is common. Almost, guys, once you see something common, try to take it as a common factor as I take it. So I took X here. After I took X here, this one becomes one or Y prime or Y, okay? If you have one or something or something or something, once you have one, it is done. You don't need to think about it. Here you have one or something here, so it should be one. And the result is X. Okay, guys, you understand what I did? So now I sorted it in two different ways. One way is to distribution here, as I did here, this is similar to the normal algebra. It took some time, but there is maybe a more efficient way, or this a more efficient way to do it. I can see x plus here as a common factor. I can take it out this way, okay? And then I can do it in only two steps. Any questions? Good. <clears throat> uh, again, in the future, in exams, in anything, if you have if you have this one, you can just use it. You don't need you don't need to go through these steps. Okay, you can just because this now becomes like like uh, a theorem. You can just apply this theorem and that's it and use it. Okay, if you go through the steps, I'm, I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine. But 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 it's it's gonna be much easier if you just if you can if you can observe that the problem has this theorem and you can just do it in one step. So I can so I can if I have this one, I can say it's equal to x. Based on this theorem, done, I'm done. Or you can do, if, if you don't, if you are not able or you didn't observe is that you can apply this theorem, you can go through the steps. It's totally fine, I don't have to work. Okay? Um, next one here, elimination theorem, okay? So let's look how how, how it works here. Um, and again, I'm gonna use um, algebra manipulation to prove it. Again, you also you can use a two table if you want. So let's let's see how 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 it works. So look here. If you have if you have one term, I put it x, and then I have uh, and and the inversion of y or y. If you have something like that. By the way, I think I think yeah I think I mentioned it before. So here, this one is the same. It's the same if I say it is y or x y prime. It's the same. So if you change them, in, this is similar to the, norm, the normal algebra. Three plus two, it is the same if it's two plus three. It's the same thing. Also for uh, three times two, it's the same like two times three. It's the same thing. Same, same thing up here, okay? So A or B, it is the same as B or A. A and B, it's the same B and A. It's the same, okay? Um, so anyway, so if you have something like that, I have a term, Okay, here I'm calling it y, or with the inversion of this term and some something. Okay, so in this case, the result is actually is the or of the two terms, x and y. Okay. Okay, so let's see how 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 we can do it. Okay. Uh, the way we are going to do it, by the way, it's just very simple. Okay, so see see how, how I mean. I told you, I told you this term here is actually similar to y or x y prime. I didn't do anything. I just I just uh, switch it this way because it's gonna be easy for me to do this. And then after that, I can do distribution. This is a distribution. 
will always remember it. This is solution we usually forget. Even myself, I forget it. Why? Because we don't have it in the normal chip. Okay. So I'm gonna do this distribution here and the distribution here. So I did this distribution and you see y or x and and y or y prime. Okay. And then you have here y or y prime is one. And then you have something and and one, something and one is the same thing here. Okay, very easy. Okay. So again, the way you have to think it because sometimes in uh, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes in uh, in, uh, in, in in exams or in uh, in homework, it may not be straightforward like this one. Uh, X and Y can be a term. That's what I said. It can be a term. So that means, for example, and I can just that's why you you need to say if you have here, this is the way you should learn it. If I have something here, a term. X or a complete term, okay? And then I have one here, one term, and this term is inverted here, okay? So by this way, I can do this one, okay? For example, if I can have here A, B, C, D, so, okay? C, D prime, or C, D, okay? Or C, D prime. Can I apply it? I don't know, can I apply it? Let's see. Okay, the easy way is I can I can call this one x, okay, and then I can call this one y, right? Uh, sorry, I can call this one y prime, which is totally fine, and then this one becomes y. Is that right? If this one is y prime, okay, so this is y, right? The prime of y prime is y. So this is x is actually a b. Y is actually C D prime. Is that right? So if I do this way, I think it can it can work. So it becomes X A B or C D prime. I think so. Think about it. Uh, I told it very long, but I, I think it should it can work in this way. Anyway, so so that, second thing here for this elimination theorem, guys, is so what I wanted, what, what I wanted to do guys here is because this this theorem somehow uh, somehow advanced advanced one or not advanced. Let me say it this way. I used the previous the previous rules the rules I already explained to, to prove this one. Many students in exams may not may not think about this one, and you you are going to use the previous rules uh, to uh, to to reach to the same conclusion here, which is totally fine. But you are going to take more time in the exams. You can take more time. You understand what I'm saying? So again, even if you don't, even if you don't know this one, you still you can apply what I taught before to prove that this one is equal to this one. Okay. But if you know it, you're going to suffer a lot of time. You don't need to do all of that. You can just put it directly. You get what I'm saying? So anyway, also you can think about the dual, the dual of this one. Uh, as I told you, every every term can have a dual. When I calculate the dual, as I told you, very simple, very, very simple. Uh, the rules are, the rules are here, any end, any end, you have to make it or. Okay? Any or, you have to make it end. Okay? We don't change inversion. So here, this one is x, it becomes x. Y, y prime becomes y prime. It's the same thing. Okay? Y is y. Same thing here, if I want to calculate the dual with this one, is uh, this uh, this or becomes end as we see here. So, so now this is the dual of it, right? So this dual is telling me what this one is telling me is if you have here if you have something here and you have here the inversion of, of something and it's the same thing here okay so yeah I have a certain I have an exhibition here and the inversion is here so if you have this exact so my advice to you, if you are confused in exams or anything, in my opinion, is just if you have, like, for example, as I told you, for example, you have here A, B, or C, D prime, and then you have here C, D. So if you have something like that in exam, I think if you are confused, you can just, as I told, as I told you, you can just put this one X, you can put this one Y, so X is equal to A, B, Y is equal to C, D. So if, if 
I can rewrite this equation to become x or y prime, all of this and y. So I can get exactly the same one here. So the result should be x and y. So this one should be equal x and y. So what is x? X is actually a, b. What is y? Is c, d. It's an easy way to do it. Um, okay, so uh, can you can we prove it again? You can use a two table, but I want to do a algebra manipulation. To do algebra manipulations is very easy. You know, I can do. Uh, you know, if y is here, it's the same. If y is here, it's the same. Okay, and then you can do distribution. I can do distribution. Once you do the distribution, this one becomes x y or y prime y. You know, y prime and y is zero. Anything over zero is the same thing here. Okay. Um, I wanna, uh, I wanna take, I wanna give you an advice. Um, so I wanna help you. I won't. I don't want to memorize anything. That's why I'm gonna give you this slide. However, this, this has a side effect. The side effect is some student may think, okay, it's just easy. I will I don't need to study, I don't need I don't I don't need to practice because I'm look at the from uh, from the table, I will see which one and then I use it. It's not gonna work at this point. Okay. Uh, still you need to you need to learn how to use them. Okay. I can give you them, I you will not be able to use them if you don't practice. Okay. And to practice, uh, number one, the slides, they have too many examples in the slides. You can solve them, you can solve them. And this is also another advice to you. Sometimes when you look at the proof, yeah, it's easy, you can take this one problem, it's easy, right? Uh, but if I give it to you, I ask you to do it, you will not be able to do it, okay? So my advice again, try, try to do all these proofs by, by yourself. Take it as a question. Do it by yourself. Okay, don't just read. If you just read the solution, it's not gonna help. That's my advice to you. Okay. So number one, you have too many examples here in, in the slides. How can you apply uh, polyam and chamber? The second thing in the homework, you should also have a lot of examples in the homework. Okay. Uh, by the way, a lot of examples are coming. So here in, in this section, you will see a lot of examples are coming here. Because until now, I didn't use the rules, but I mainly fo I'm focusing on uh, teaching the, the theorems and the rules themselves, okay? But in the, in the next one, uh, in the next section, I'm gonna teach, if you if you have these rules, how can you use the algebra manipulation, okay? So anyway, the last theorem we have here, Constance uh, theorem, Okay, so let, let's see how, how this one works, and it's somehow interesting. So as, as you see here, if you have here x, y, x and y, in this term here, and then you have here x prime z, and then you have y, z, okay? So the result is, so this term I can cancel it. So this term is redundancy, you can remove it. So this term does not impact the output. The result of this function only depends on these two terms. This term, whatever, if this term giving you zero or one, is not gonna have any impact on the output of the function. It's redundancy, you can remove it, okay? So let me say it again, how, how you can think about it. So here, what, what we have here, here, you have x and x prime. So every time you see something and the inversion here, and then I have y and z, okay? And then the, the last term here is actually these two terms, y and z, okay? So I have here one term and the inversion, and then these two terms, I have them here and by this way, this term is actually redundant. I can remove it. And the output is just equal to the first two terms. Okay. And here also, it comes something very important, which is, uh, I'm gonna teach here in the next section, but it's just related to this point, 
is actually simplification. So if you have this function here and you have this function, these two functions are doing exactly the same thing. These two functions are doing exactly the same thing. But if I want to do implementation, which one is better for me to implement? So both of them are doing the same thing. Should I implement if one or implement if two? If two, because if two is simplified than if one. If two is gonna require less number of gates than if than, than in if one. So they'll be cheaper because these gates, it's, uh, you need to pay money for, for the gate. So that's why if you have a design, this design needs less number of gates, and you have, I have another design that's gonna do the same thing, but more, more number of gates, so for sure the least number of gates will be better. That's what we call simplification. Okay, I give you one example here because that's, that's what I'm going to do here. In uh, this is a big topic. So, for example, that, again, don't worry about it. So, because that, this is a topic, I just uh, I want to give you some hint here because but, but I'm going to teach you details. So, simplification means look here, guys. Here I have this function here. I have another function here. Okay, and I was able to prove these two functions are the same. They are equal. Both of them are doing exactly the same thing. So which one is better for me? For sure, if, if I do implementation, I have to do this one. Because if you see here, how many gates I need here? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many gates I need here? One, two, three, four, five. So I can save, I can save one, one gate. Okay. So that's what we call simplification. Very important topic. Okay. If you have a function, how can you simplify it? Okay. And uh, by the way, to do simplification, we are going to do it in this chapter and next chapter. Chapter two and three, we are going to, chapter three only about simplification. Okay? But here in this chapter, in chapter two, we are going to do simplification using algebra manipulation. That's why I'm teaching algebra rules. So if you have a function, I want to simplify this function, you can use algebra manipulation. Next chapter, we are going to use a visual, visual way to do it using maps. We are going to create some kind of maps. Okay, you put one and zeros, and then we'll, I'm going to teach how can you do it. Also, simplification. Is that okay? okay? And by the way, also, uh, again, don't be, these are talks I'm going to teach. I just want to show you the whole picture. I want to show you why I'm teaching the theorem and the rules of algebra, uh, of Abelian uh, algebra, because we're going to use them. Okay? And also, also, this is something also I'm going to teach you in the future, but this is one of the topic here. Actually, um, when, you, when you do a design, when you design a circuit to do something useful, usually it's an exhibit. For example, I have here, I want to design, I want to design a circuit to do something, okay? Uh, addition, multiplication, whatever. Usually it's a function. The function you are going to calculate here from, from the, your design is not simplified function. And then you need to simplify it. You got what I'm saying? So that's why I'm getting simplification. Okay, I don't want to confuse you, but what I'm saying is that number one, I'm teaching algebra manipulation. How can you do that? Because we need it for simplification. Also, to do simplification, I'm going to teach some kind of maps, and this is chapter three. And why we need to simplification? Simply because when you design a circuit, because it's this is object of this course, how can you design? A logic circuit to do something, to do multiplication, to do whatever. When you design a circuit and you get a function out of it, this function usually is not simplified. And you need to learn approaches to simplify it. Okay? And the reason we simplify is just to use this number of kids. Okay? Anyway, this is just a big picture. Don't worry about it. We are going to share it in details. But let me. Yeah, so here I just want to prove. Let's prove this one. How can you prove it again? You can prove this one using truth table, but that's what I didn't do, do here. You can do it by yourself, okay? Or I can use algebra, uh, algebra manipulation as I did here. So look, look how I did it here. Maybe, uh, uh, so what I did here, uh, uh, here as you see here, uh, I just here, is this one YZ? Look how, how I did this manipulation here. Okay? 
how it changes this one to this one. What? How I get it. Okay, why is it? It is the same thing if I say one and y z, right? Okay, because you know one and x, whatever or this term here, one and anything, you can get the same thing here. Okay, so all what I did here, I just put here one, and then this one is actually x or x prime. Yes, okay, that's what I did here. So why is this this way? I did, I did it this way because I, I want I, I want to turn it what x and x prime because this is gonna help me to do simplification later. Okay. So again, what I did here, this term here, it, this is one. So I didn't change anything. It's like a normal algebra. If you have y and you multiply by y, you didn't do anything. Okay. Same thing here. I didn't do anything. I just I just instead of y and z, it became one and y and z. Okay, it's the same thing. And then I replace one by x and x prime. Okay, and then I do distribution. Okay, so now I, I got these two terms here. Okay, and after that, uh, uh, it becomes easy. Everything becomes became easy. Why? I'm going to tell you why. So if you look at this term here and this term here, you can see something is common. We have x, y here, and we have x, y here. So these two terms, I can take x, y as common. Right, I can think one or z. One or z is one. Okay, I can do the same thing here. You can see x prime z. This one also has x prime z. So I can take these two terms here. And then I can take x prime z common. This one becomes one or uh, or one, which is x prime z. That's it. Okay, so after this one, it's just a straightforward, but, but I did a trick here. I did a trick. Okay, the trick I did here is I, I wanna I introduced I introduced two terms here, uh, uh, x or x prime. Okay, I didn't change anything, right? Because x or x prime is one. One and anything is the same thing. I didn't know you said. However, once once I do this, okay, so I can it's gonna help me to complete the simplification. So what I did here first, you can see. Now this term, and one of the term it resulted from this one. I took the same here, take one is common, and then it gives you this one. Okay, and it's the same thing for the other one. Any questions? Okay, so the other thing we have here, guys, is uh, I am done. So you can see I summarize, I summarize all, I summarize all, uh, all the theorem I taught here. I summarize them here again in the exams. In quizzes, I will give you this slide, okay? But it's not enough. You need to know how can we use it, okay? And that's that's what that's what you uh, we still have two minutes, three minutes, okay? Oh, fifteen minutes, fifteen. So we have two minutes now. Okay. Anyway, so uh, you have this one. Uh, so and uh, in next uh, lecture. When I talk about the equivalent and simplification, you will see how can you use this algebra manipulation. Same thing as this now for the homework. You can do you can do the part that has algebra manipulation. Okay. Uh, so the whole thing here I want to teach is the order of the operation. You know, you know there is a, uh, in normal algebra, we have a certain order of the order of the operation. If you have an expression and you want to evaluate the function, there's a certain order, right? Same thing here. So the, uh, th this is the order number one. Uh, any pair uh, 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 of pieces, you have to do them first. Any not operation, you have to do second, second priority. Then you have to do n. Then you have to do all. So I give you one example. Here. If you have something like that, x or y inverted and z. Okay. And then I want to evaluate it. So which one I have to do first? Is uh, you have to finish the parallel pieces first, as you see here. Okay, so it should be here. One uh, x is one, uh, y is zero. Okay, so I have to finish whatever inside here, which is one. I have to invert it here, and then last last thing. Uh, then after that, after I finish the parallel pieces, I am gonna have only one operation. I'm gonna do it. Okay, so this is again, guys. This is similar to the normal algebra. There is certain priority which operation you have to do first, okay? Uh, but here, uh, not uh, not has more priority than n, 
Okay, and the end has more priority to, to finish end first and then finish off when you, when you evaluate it. Any questions? Okay, good. So, okay, next time I'm going to continue with this topic. Thanks.